there is a hymn that we sing which summarizes what the gospel text of today and the readings of today are saying. And it is this hymn. Lose yourself in me and you will find yourself. Lose yourself in me and you will find new life. Lose yourself in me and you will find yourself and you will live yes you will live in my love unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground it still remains a grain of but if it falls and dies, then it bears much fruit. So it is with those who lose themselves in me. Jesus talks about that grain of wheat. As long as the grain of wheat does not want to die to itself. It remains alone. And even as it remains alone, if it does not die, it dies even without it wanting to. <clears throat> However, if the grain of wheat dares to die and dares to be put into the ground, then that single grain will bring forth abundant grain. This is a metaphor which Jesus uses for his own mission. He speaks about himself as willing to follow the mandate of the Father and die to himself. Die to himself first and then to be able to spread his arms out in total surrender to human beings on the cross. At the end of the prayer which Jesus makes today, he asks the Father to glorify this sacrifice which he has made so that others will be inspired to follow him. And the Father responds to the voice from heaven when he says, I have glorified your name and I will continue to glorify your name. At the beginning of the gospel text of today, taken from John chapter 12, verses 12 to 20, the Greeks who represent those who are outsiders, they represent those who do not believe, they come to Jesus and their coming to Jesus is already a sign now that Jesus has to start moving towards his destination because the mission of Jesus is not a parochial mission. It is not a restricted mission. It is not a mission to a specific group of people, but it is a mission which is universal. And the coming of the Greeks to Jesus and their wanting to see Jesus is an indication that his mission is universal. In the second reading of today, taken from the letter to the Hebrews, we are told, about Jesus and his prayer in Gethsemane. His prayer to the Father was that he wanted to follow the Father's will and yet it was difficult. It was challenging. And that's why Luke will tell us in Gethsemane he sweated what seemed like great drops of blood because he was on the verge of total annihilation total destruction and so as a human being he was terrified. However, Hebrews tells us that even though he was terrified, even though he was frightened, even though he did not seem to see any kind of hope in the near future, yet he dared to be obedient. 
he dared to believe, he dared to have hope even against hope. In the first reading of today, Jeremiah speaks about a covenant which the Lord will make with his people. And while that covenant made through the words of Jeremiah was broken again and again, this covenant now made in the blood of Jesus, made on the cross by Jesus, is a covenant which will never be broken. Because Jesus identified himself with that grain of wheat which fell into the ground and died, it did not remain alone. As a matter of fact, that one grain, the Lord inspired so, so many grains that today there are millions of people over the world in imitation of their Lord who are willing to become that grain of wheat and fall into the ground and die to themselves. Both this metaphorical death of death to self and even death through persecution of any kind. And so we are invited, even as we are in the season of Lent, even as we face the numerous challenges which life has offered and life poses before us, to realize that because we have an inspiration in the Lord, we never need to be afraid. Because we have an example in the Lord, we simply have to follow him, we simply have to imitate him, become like that grain of wheat falling into the ground, dying, so that in our death, both metaphorical and if required real, we might become that root of this plentiful harvest. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground, it still remains a grain of wheat. But if it falls and dies, then it bears much fruit. So it is with those who lose themselves in me. Will you dare to die to self so that others might live through you?